Come up, Joe Skull here with Jeepster and Crisco 3D. Howdy. Cheers, boys. In the land of pleasant living. At Jeepster's house. Yes. It's the first time I've ever had this. Pretty savory. That is delicious. Yes. That is refreshing. Um, so yeah, I live very close to Jeepster and uh, I never met him or Crisco 3D until tonight. So, uh, and they're both on their way to Meeting of the Minds. This time tomorrow we'll uh, be meeting. Yeah. Yep. Actually, this is a bad, this is Chris Goes Strong. Bad Beer Friday pre recorded because I will upload this tomorrow for him. Thank you, sir. But tomorrow will be today when you upload Yes, it's today. So, right now, <laughs> these two <laughs> are at Meeting of the Minds with all my bureaus, my heroes of beer. They'll be We're walking. A hologram, that's what we are. They'll be walking amongst the likes of Forty Ounce Fear, Black Metal Troy, H Strong Forty Four, Mister Breeze. Who get else? pissed. Brew Unstoppable. It's. Uh, I've actually met the Get Pissed. I think I'm like one of the only members that met him. Maybe Mister Breeze and Detroit Forty Ounce met him, but uh, met him in Baltimore briefly. And H uh, Strong Forty Four. Mm-hmm. So I came up to uh, pick up a few goodies that Mr. Jeepster 105 yes. graciously got for me, which I'll do in a later video. I'm super stoked. And we did go on a little beer run this evening. Found some pretty cool stuff around here. Baltimore has some fine indeed, beverages to offer. Indeed, indeed. Mr. Bill. <laughs> so since this really is Bad Beer Friday, I'm going to let... Mr. Uh, Crisco 3D crawl the beer. take over a little bit. Well, well, first of all, folks, if you've never had National Bohemian, get you some. Drive, fly, take a boat. It's good advice. A train. If you get it, a or bicycle. You see it, if you see it, <clears throat> seriously, bring it home with you. <clears throat> you will be thoroughly Provide dog impressed. sled in the middle of winter. Yeah, just, just get here and get. Yeah, some. if if you if you if you are from Alaska, yeah, get your dog sled down here and pick it up. Quite a savory brew. Uh, and then, rather economical. Let's pick a topic. I happen to have a bunch of topics in my hat here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's pick one. Flying. Flying! Because oh. I had to fly in here. How was your flight? Good. It was good. The thing Got I, here early. Yeah, it was fast. I know, that, that, that doesn't always happen. But I guess maybe that's a good sign of things to come on this trip. So, maybe that's... But BMT has to fly tomorrow. He, he's there. He already flew. Well, but, okay. Yes. Right BMT, yeah. is, he has made it. We hope. Hopefully. We hope, yeah, we hope, it. We hope it is. <laughs> Hope Hopefully he did. I hope he gets there safely. I hope he doesn't get delayed. He's or... flying from Texas, so he might get some turbulence. Sorry, buddy. I felt a little coming in, but it wasn't too bad. Texas is an easy flight, and usually it's it's faster coming this way too. You usually get in about fifteen minutes early. Yeah. Every time I've flown from Texas. <sighs> Delicious. I've had some pretty horrible flights though. Flying from here to. Uh, Seattle. We had to, well, we stopped <coughs> in Denver and then flying over the Rockies. It was, uh, I shit my pants, actually. <laughs> I, my flight to Singapore and Malaysia both times, they were pretty terrible in business class, you know. It's just awful. Just Ugh. because it was long. Yeah. Business class is nice, but the, mm. yeah. Worst <coughs> flight I had was, uh, I flew in. I had a transfer flight in Philadelphia, and we sat on the runway for like an hour, and I almost missed my my connecting flight. You just made me think of something. What's that? So when I got married, I was a dumbass, and the next morning at 6 a.m. we left for our honeymoon. I was still drunk at the airport. Uh-oh. Uh, and we get on the plane, and we had to sit at the tarmac for about, I'd say an hour and 15 minutes at least, because they had to change a tire. 
<laughs> Get out. The plane had a flat tire. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Well, it's good they caught it then and not like, and later. And I'm also glad that I was drunk still and not hungover. Right. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but it, that kind of changed in the middle of the flight. It, you know, it caught up to me eventually, but... <laughs> So flying, that's, I think that's what we got, all we got about, about flying, right? That's all I got. So. Yeah, and it sucks that airlines charge for bags. And, and now everybody's cramming everything on the carry-on. Hopefully these guys did not forget this, but sending the, uh, them off with uh, some goodies for the attendees of the Meeting of the Minds. You'll see. Little party favors. With love from Joe Skull. Joe Skull, you sir. plenty of glassware over here. You got one too. Some brewery on it. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. Let's get up on it. Goblet. I mean, I, maybe should I just pour the rest? I don't mm, know. Yeah. yeah. Toast It's it. clean. It is clean. Fall staff. So, yeah. Good stuff. If Fall staff sees that, maybe he'll comment. But. Man, I don't normally get 40s. I don't really drink 40s much. Mm. I'm just enjoying this. I'm sorry I'm not up well up to pace or up to par. That's why he lives in the land of the 32 ounce. So That's right, so. He's already retired. He would retire to Florida to drink quartz. That's what Bruce is going to do one day. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce's plan is eventually he's giving up the 40 ounce collection. He's going to retire and drink quartz and quartz. Quartz in Florida for return. Well, they don't have double malt, <laughs> and they don't have, uh, let's see, there's a lot of list of things that they do not have down there in 32-ounce variety, so it sucks. It's a shame you can't get, like, double malt 24-ounce cans. It's like you can't even really find much malt liquor in 24-ounce cans. <laughs> Can you get 24s of double malt, or they're not... I used to get 24s. Not anymore. Well, that's where I got cool. mine from. It was yeah, just yeah, why I was freaking out. Yeah. bringing this back, because you can't find this down there. That's right. This guy has an awesome beer collection, uh, cans, full cans of stuff too. Um, Delicious things like this. That looks Ooh, that's evil. <laughs> yeah, that is evil. <laughs> yeah. I think I should drink this on a video one eventually. You should. How old is it? Yeah, I think it's from '98 or '99. Yeah. It looks pretty fresh. Still got some dust on it too. You don't know what's in that dust. I'd be careful. <laughs> that thing is probably so old. That's probably radioactive dust from Chernobyl. Most likely. Nah, this has got to be older. This is like the original private stock. This is from like 85. Narragansett Brewing. Jeez, nice. I was only five. Look at that. It's like a, it's like a snow globe. <laughs> Got some cool cult, cool cult floating around here. Cool. So yeah, Bad Beer Friday on Thursday. Or Bad Beer Thursday on Friday. True, I am down to the swill here. Yeah, I'm pretty close. Approaching. Close. 32 ounces. He's just out of practice, guys. He's just out of practice. <laughs> All right. We can do it. I'm Plus just, I'm just, I'm just enjoying myself here, man. I'm just. Sitting here relaxing. They used to make 32s, though. Really? Yeah. I, I, you know, I think in the 80s they stopped. I, I'm just enjoying this because I don't know how many more moments I may have like this. That's true. So. <laughs> we'll, we'll set you up to bring some home with you. Yeah. Whether um, it be cans or whatnot, um, but. I'm, I'm just thinking about uh, Mr. Raj. He liked to enjoy this, too. Yes, he did. That's right. This Cheers. is one of his favorites. Cheers to him. I think I've actually sent Mr. Raj close to a, a case of Natty Boat <laughs> in about three different trades, but yeah. I think one time I sent him six forties in one trade. Nice. Six natty bow forties, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do it for Raj. <sighs> Man, I gotta get my training. Whoa. Well, I was in the splash zone there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sipping. Just sipping yeah, in here. The burps aren't coming out, I think. That's my problem. <laughs> Oh, uh, he's almost down to the swill here. <sighs> almost down to the swill. We are a while since I at 9.41 now. Come on. We're not trying to make a Popsicle Man video here. <laughs> Let's go. Man, I'm just not feeling it. I don't know what's wrong with me, man. I just have the burps. Dang it. 
See, I don't burp. Sometimes I don't burp. It's like sometimes I'll make a video and I'll be burping like crazy. But tonight I'm just not burping at all. I don't know what's wrong <laughs> with me. Boy, you have a hell of a weekend coming up. You better. I know. Yeah. We gotta get practicing. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> well, we gotta start with something, right? That's right. Hold on, it's coming. <coughs> I'll turn, he'll turn the camera off and I'll be like, blah. <laughs> Let's do the swill. Swill, swill, swill. Drinking a 40 in Maryland. <laughs> in the Baltimore region. <laughs> All right. That's it. Oh yeah. Ooh, well, beer. wish these guys an awesome uh, meeting of the minds weekend, and uh, I'll see you with the goodies that Mr. Jeepster 105 provided for me. All right, Dan. Peace.